One morning, Paddington was on his way to the bank when he heard a strange hissing noise. Excuse me, sir. You're not going in there, are you? I was, said Paddington. I'm going to put some savings into my account. Oh, <laughs> it's a good job I caught you in time. Between you and me, all's not well with Floyd. All's not well with Floyd, exclaimed Paddington. You want my advice, sir? You'll put your money in oil. Put my money in oil, repeated Paddington. Won't it get dirty? Dirty? Did you say dirty, sir? Do you realize what you're standing on at this very moment? A lot of people might think that had dripped from a car. They don't realize it's seeping up through the ground, under their very feet. I tell you, sir, anyone who buys a share in the Portobello Road Oil Company is going to make a fortune. The Portobello Road Oil Company, repeated Paddington. Don't think I've ever heard of that before. Not many people have, sir. Not many people have. <laughs> Look... How much money did you say you were putting in the bank? Five pounds. I've been saving it out of my bun money. It's for Christmas and birthday presents. Tell you what, this share is really worth ten pounds, but seeing as how I've taken a liking to you, I'll let you have it for five. Paddington considered the matter for a moment. It's very kind of you, he said, but I don't know that I want to spend all my money. I want some left over for presents. My dear. Dear sir, you look like a bear of the world. You must know about oil. By the way things are going, by this time tomorrow, you'll have so much interest, you won't know what to do with it all. Why, look, you're seeing the Portobello Road as it is for the last time. Soon it'll be full of derricks. But don't forget, not a word to anyone. <laughs> And I shouldn't hang around here too long. You might be caught by a gusher, and your whiskers will get all blackened. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Paddington spent the rest of that day hopefully drilling holes in the garden at number 32 Windsor Gardens. But either the oil had confined itself to the Portobello Road, or Mr. Brown's drill bit wasn't long enough, for there was no seepage to be seen anywhere let alone any sign of a gusher. He was up bright and early the next morning, and as soon as breakfast was over, he hurried back to the spot where he'd met the man with the shares. Excuse me, sir. Can I help you? I was looking for a Derrick, said Paddington. Derrick? No. <laughs> I don't know any Derricks. <laughs> Quite a few Tom, Dick and Harrys. No. <laughs> if you want my advice, you'll be on your way. We're looking for one of them right now. Oily Harry. He's been selling dud shares. You all right, sir? Yeah. What's this? The Portobello Oil Company. Blimey! I knew he was a master of disguise, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> Mr. Gruber held Paddington's share up to the light. I must say, this is a very good piece of forgery, he said. How much did you pay for it? Five pounds, said Paddington, and I nearly got arrested by mistake. I'll give you six pounds for it, Mr. Brown. Six pounds? But the policeman said it wasn't worth the paper it was written on. Maybe not, Mr. Brown, but there's a good market for anything unusual, and a bear's oil share, even a dud one, must be worth quite a lot. You see, I shall dispose of it before the week's out. Paddington considered the matter for a moment over his bun. I think, he announced at last, I shall put all my money into unusual things in future. It's a lot safer than oil, and it's much cleaner. Cleaner.